For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Recently, Jim Cramer, the well-known stock market commentator, discussed the current market rally that surged following Donald Trump's election win. Cramer celebrated the impressive gains, highlighting the market's enthusiasm for Trump as the incoming president. He attributed this rally not only to optimism around Trump's policies, but also to the smooth transition of leadership. Cramer noted that the market favors Donald J. Trump and values a a seamless handover to the next president. With both factors in place, we witnessed an extraordinary celebration in the markets. It was like a jailbreak, with the bearish investors left stunned, unaware of what hit them. Kramer delved into whether investors truly missed the rally, explaining that this depends on the particular stocks individuals hold. He noted that there was considerable anxiety leading up to the election, as many feared a contentious outcome that might create uncertainty and potentially destabilize the market. However, with a decisive win and a smooth power transition, the market received a major confidence boost, which many traders see as a win in and of itself. One of Trump's primary goals, as Kramer mentioned, is to lower taxes, especially corporate taxes, which he argues could provide a strong foundation for various financial metrics to improve across the board. Specifically, Kramer expects that with the tax reductions, certain revenue figures, earnings per share, and estimates for future profits may see increases. Kramer did issue a word of caution, saying that low interest rates are essential to fully realize these gains and sustain market enthusiasm. While Kramer admitted that piling on more national debt carries risks, he he summed up the current sentiment as continue to celebrate until the consequences become apparent. This sentiment seemed to capture the prevailing mood among investors, signaling that the party might continue in the stock market until tangible risks materialize. Looking at the broader market, Kramer added that he believes it remains oversold. He pointed out that some stocks associated with Trump policies saw a significant sell-off after reports indicated that Kamala Harris was gaining traction. However, Kramer also highlighted that recent polling inaccuracies proved that market assumptions based on political polls can be unreliable, which was evident when Trump won despite predictions to the contrary. In discussing specific stock options for those wanting to benefit from the Trump rally, Kramer highlighted Palantir Technologies as a promising choice. In his latest show, he noted that this company has the potential for substantial growth under a Trump administration. Kramer went on to say, there's a perception that a Trump presidency could increase the likelihood of cybersecurity threats and this company stands ready to excel in such an environment. Trump is likely to have an interesting relationship with Palantir's co-founder and CEO, Alex Karp. Kramer's endorsement of Palantir technology stems from its innovative capabilities in the artificial intelligence industry. But what exactly sets Palantir apart as one of the leading Leading artificial intelligence stocks, for starters, Palantir's technologies address some of the most complex challenges that businesses face. One of Palantir's core data technologies, Ontology, has been instrumental in solving what's often called the hallucination problem in artificial intelligence systems. This problem involves artificial intelligence models generating responses or outputs that deviate from reality, which can lead to unreliable data. Palantir's years of experience working with military and defense applications have equipped it with the insights needed to tackle these challenges head on. Earlier this year, during an event where Palantir engaged with its clients, the company provided specific examples of how businesses are leveraging its artificial intelligence platform to achieve tangible cost reductions and profit enhancements. For instance, Airbus, a leader in the aviation industry managed to speed up the production of its A350 model by 33%, a significant gain in efficiency. Similarly, BP, a global oil and gas corporation, reported that it reduced costs per barrel by a striking 60%, underscoring the powerful cost-saving potential of Palantir's platform. Jacobs Connect, another user of Palantir's technology, achieved a 30% decrease in power usage, showcasing the platform's ability to drive energy efficiency. Palantir's success stories continue with Panasonic, which reported a 12% reduction in waste, further emphasizing the platform's adaptability across diverse industries. Additionally, ESI Group was able to expedite ERP harmonization by 70%, a remarkable improvement that reflects Palantir's impact on operational efficiency. Meanwhile, PG&E recorded a 65% reduction in transformer ignitions, demonstrating Palantir's capacity to enhance safety and reduce incidents. 
Eaton, an industrial powerhouse, reported a 25% boost in productivity, while Tyson Foods achieved $200 million in cost savings, exemplifying the platform's potential to drive financial performance. Despite Palantir's impressive track record, some investors remain concerned about the stock's valuation. For the fiscal year 2024, Palantir forecasts a revenue increase of 24% on a year-over-year -year basis, reaching $2,746 In addition, the company expects to generate an adjusted operating income of $970 million, equating to a margin of 35.3%. Nevertheless, revenue growth is anticipated to decelerate over the next two years. Analysts estimate that Palantir's year-over-year -year growth could decrease to 22%, which would bring total revenues to roughly $4 billion by fiscal year 2026. While there is clear potential in Palantir, we believe that under the radar artificial intelligence stocks may offer even higher returns and potentially in a shorter time frame. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.